Welcome to my series where I cook different foods from all over the world and today we're specifically cooking Syrian food, so enjoy! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Salma and if you're new, you must welcome. As you have read from today's title, I'm going to be making Syrian food and that's what I'm going to be eating for the whole day. So I cannot wait because anything aerobic food so good but specifically today we're focusing on syrian food and i'm super excited and yeah so let's get into the video so for breakfast we're gonna be making fava beans and we're gonna be eating it with arabic bread which i cannot wait so let's go make it so for breakfast we're having fava beans i hope i'm pronouncing that right but you bring them to a bowl put them in a bowl and add in some onion some chopped parsley and tomatoes and some fresh garlic and some oil some salt to taste and cumin powder and also some lemon that brings out the freshness into these beans this is so good just wait for my opinion later when i try it and just mix everything and put that in a bowl and you all set for breakfast all right guys breakfast is ready and it looks amazing it smells really good wow and it was so easy to make surprisingly and we also have some arabic bread so i did break apart some parts because i don't have a table that is high for me to like put the plate and you will see me as well but i think this will work and i'm gonna try to do like a thumbnail i want to scoop out a lot look at that what i love about multicultural foods many people eat with their hands which is so nice and i feel like the food tastes even better so let's give it a try bismillah mm. that is so refreshing and yummy with the bread i really love arabic bread it's so special it tastes really yummy wow Mm. this is so good let me come closer oh my god mm. literally 10 out of 10 amazing i love it i'm gonna go finish up my breakfast and i'll see you all for lunch slash dinner <laughs> all right well time for lunch and lunch we're going to be making chicken cup steak i hope i'm pronouncing that right again because my pronunciation really sucks so bear with me well but i cannot wait like i'm super excited for this one because i'm actually really hungry and oops, sorry about that so let's go make it for the rice i started by measuring out all the spices i needed which included ground cinnamon ground cumin and some cloves and bay leaf i was missing um cardamom cloves so i used like ground cardamom as well but anyways i put that in the pan with the onions fry it put in some chicken and once the chicken starts to burn a little bit add some water and then i added in some tomatoes and some salt to taste and i just let that cook for like at least 30 minutes i took out the chicken and put it into the oven to bake off or to cook off and then i did sift the remaining um chicken stock and i used that to make the rice i wanted to use basmati rice but i didn't have that anyways i did put in some salt to test and that was basically it so when the food was ready i moved it all over to a bigger plate for a good presentation and just put the chicken on top of it and some raisins i was supposed to use some nuts but i didn't have those but it tasted amazing also added some original for color oh my god you guys look at this tell me this doesn't look good it smells so good that guys that looks so so good oh my goodness you know what i'm gonna take a thumbnail with this 
Oh my god, I cannot wait to give this a try. I feel like I'm gonna put it in a small plate and then I'm gonna be back. Alright guys, so I put it in a small bowl. Now let's give it a try. Bismillah. Mm -hmm. That is so so good. It would have been better if I used basmati rice but i forgot that i didn't have basmati rice so i used the long grain rice because honestly today i was planning on filming syrian food and i in my head i had everything but apparently not but this works and it tastes really really good this is like long grain rice i don't know if that's supposed to be more healthier i don't know but it's so good mm. and the raisins they make everything perfect I'm gonna try the chicken. I don't like chicken skin. I know it's the part that has all the flavors, but today I'm gonna try. Mmm. That is so so good. Mm. Wow, I love it. This was so easy to make. And it's just amazing. I'm gonna go finish this up and I'll see you all later for dessert. So for dessert, we're going to be making halloween chicken. I'm super excited for this. I've never tried it before, but it should be yummy because it looks yummy. So let's go make it. So for the dessert, I started by making the simple syrup, which was two parts sugar and one part water. I brought it to a bowl and I did put in some rose water. I think you're supposed to use orange blossom, but I only had rose water. And I also made another syrup, same thing, but the measurements are a little bit different. And this time we did add in some semolina. And once it was cooked, we did add in some fresh mozzarella and you just gotta mix mix until you get like a stretchy kind of dough and once that is cooled down a little bit i put it onto a plastic wrap just because it makes things less messy but fold it like, like you all see and press it down a little bit so it's easier to like roll out it was quite hot not gonna lie but it was so satisfying guys and once i got the size i wanted it was supposed to be like a thin layout though i did add some ricotta cheese which i do regret but you all will see why later and i just cut them like that and put them aside and i kept going until all the dough was done then i went ahead and cut them into bites or small pieces and i did put them on the plate just assembling them really really nicely and then i did put the syrup on top of all of them and some crushed almonds to finish up all right guys time for dessert halloween chicken it's done i found this recipe they use ricotta cheese now i'm not a f i'm not a huge fan of ricotta cheese i should have done more research because when i was doing this a recipe popped up and used cream so I, I should have done that one but anyways let's give it a try look at that looks so nice and oh my god let's give it a try look at that it looks like sushi but like i don't know it's like a roll mm. I feel like I would have liked this with the cream mixture. I'm not a huge fan of ricotta cheese. It clit. What is like cow? Guys, I don't like ricotta cheese. But I think it would have been amazing with like a cream mixture. I forgot the name. I should have done more research, so I don't know. Um the dessert i was looking forward to the most and i'm disappointed and that's my fault because i did find better recipes after literally doing everything but anyways i hope you all enjoyed today's video and if you did please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye